it on? Okay. I know the quality is trash. So sorry. Actually, I have glitter on my eyes. So this isn't going to work. I was going to try this Milani eyeshadow palette right now, but this is not going to work because I already have glitter on. The red came broken. Sad. Sadly, it was here. Um, the shades seem a little bit powdery. I'm not going to lie. When I swatch them with my finger, they seem powdery, but honestly, who knows until you put it on the eye. Um, yeah, that blue seems a little bit patchy. You can build it, though. And then, let's see, this light shade, I think it's just like a light matte shade or like a sheen. Yeah. It really wants to be a satin. That's what that is. Um, they are very pretty, though. They do reflect a little bit, so that's kind of nice. Um, well, while we're here, that was a bust, but while we're here, I can tell you a couple things I was... That was weird. I was disappointed with. Um, I've been doing a lot of online orders, as I'm sure most of us are. And um, I brought the, or I bought the Bretman Rock um, Jungle Rock Loose Highlighter Duo with Wet n Wild because I usually like their highlights a lot. But I just felt like these were very like this one's super glittery. Very, very glittery. Not my jam, but I think on the eyes it's going to be really pretty. It's almost probably going to look similar to this. Might even be better because the particles in this one are a little bit smaller than what I have on my eye. Um, I'm wearing the Tati Beauty Palette. The one on the other side, though, is nice. I wonder if I can get like a little bit of a... I'm going to take a little bit from my hand. I just did like a swatch and I'm going to take some on my hand. It's very powdery. As I'm doing this, uh, things are flaking everywhere. So, um, I just tried this powder from Makeup Forever, you guys. This powder is amazing. Oh, that's pretty. That actually does look really good. Okay. Just kidding. This video, I don't know what this video is because thought I was going to use eyeshadow, didn't use eyeshadow. Thought I was disappointed by this, but now that I'm playing with it again, I kind of like it. So, yeah, that highlight's nice. It might be a little bit icy for me, but I do still really like it. And I think I can make it work, especially if I just kind of pat some blush over. Yeah. Cute. Um, anywho, again, you guys should follow me on TikTok. I am eloquently elegant. I'll write it in the description below. Um, something I was very impressed by was the Sephora Collection, uh, Trio Face Palette. And this is the shade Radiant. This is the one that I have. It's like the peachy blush. I know nothing is translating because this is trash, but um, it comes with a peach blush and then you get like a more muted highlight and then a beaming, very metallic highlight. So it's gorgeous. I love this palette. Um, let's see, what else have I recently purchased? I got the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Quad in Bed of Roses. I like it. I think the mattes are a little bit chalky, but it performs well. And honestly, that's all you can ask from a product. So I do like that one a lot. Also got um, a new Precious Petals highlight from Wet n Wild. I have the, or I, re, I got the, what is it called? It's like Crown of My Petals or something like that. I got that one. That one, again, is a little bit too icy for me. I'm, I like more of like a warm gold, but pretty. And when I say icy, I don't mean icy. I really mean um, like champagne, I guess. This is it. This is the golden flower crown. And I thought I would love it because it almost is like, 
I don't know, it is very golden. But at the same time, it's almost, it's right here. I don't know. Let's put some of this one on too. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like it almost reads a little bit gray on me. And I think that's because it's too light. Do you see when I apply it, it looks a little bit gray and almost white. That's always an indication that your highlight is maybe too light for you. So this wasn't my shade. I um, purchased this because I saw it on Alana Ramas. She's here on YouTube, Alana Davidson. Um, but she had this shade, and so I was like, oh, I love gold. I think I might like that one. But I think I like a deeper gold, and I think I always feel like her and I are similar skin tones, but we're not. <laughs> At all whatsoever like I'm light-skinned but not as light as she is like she's more the fair and I'm you know I like light to medium um any hooligan what else have I purchased recently oh I got three of the Milani eye toppers because of Katie Jane Hughes now when Katie uses a product for some reason it looks like she's just created magic from nothing and when I use these okay so I like them I have like a love-hate relationship because when I use these I do see it I see you know they do look beautiful but I feel like when she applies them they look so much better I'm not I haven't even been looking in the camera you guys looking at myself anyway I haven't done a video like this in a long time so um, the Milani eye toppers, I like them, but for some reason I do have like a love-hate relationship with them. It's very strange. Um, but I do like them, and I think they look gorgeous, and every time I wear them, I'm like, ooh, my eyes are popping today. Um, disappointment, I thought this was a blue mascara, and it's a waterproof mascara. The waterproof mascara. So, Milani. Well, I should be talking to myself because I'm the one who purchased it and I should read up on it a little bit more. Anyway, I haven't even seen the brush, so let's at least open it and look at the brush. See what we're working with. I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't smell bad. But I don't know how I feel about the brush and also that it's waterproof. Maybe if I was still going to the gym. But no. Uh, this is still my favorite. This is the Lancome. I've been wanting to do this all morning. This is the Lancome Mr. Big Mascara. It's beautiful. If you're wanting to splurge on a mascara, the Mr. Big from Lancome, definitely a go-to for me. Um, Literally any of the NARS blush palettes that come out, you guys snag them broke a little bit but seriously snag these because it's such a good deal and you get new colors um sometimes you get new formulas it just depends it's a surprise plus you get beautiful packaging love this it's always different and it's such a like a good value for your um bang for your buck you know I was disappointed with this product. This is also from Milani. This is the Ludacris Lights Highlighter. And it's just very, very dry and flaky. But right there, it looks great. <laughs> It's very flaky, but when you put it on something wet or if you wet your brush, whatevs, whatevs the case may be, it works. So we're going to put some on right now and I'll show you what I mean. But if you were here feeling this actual product, you would tell me this is like, bitch, this is dry. Can I say bitch on here? I don't know. Anyway, you would say, yes, ma'am, this is very dry. So I'm going to kind of load my brush up with it. I just sprayed it with some Urban Decay. Obviously, you guys just saw me. So it does bump up the 
effect of it. But honestly, well, I'm learning that maybe when you listen to Katie June, Katie June, Katie Jane Hughes, um, when it comes to Katie Jane Hughes, maybe you should just listen to her. Uh, that looks really pretty. I really like the way that looks. So I guess I'm just crazy. Um, no, but I definitely think that you need to wet your brush first or wet the product first and then when you go in with it it's almost like a thicker consistency so it has that grab let's see what should we do with this pink pop let's put it right above the blue yeah this looks so cool i'm a loser Listen to Katie Jane Hughes, you guys. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. No, so do I, but this... Yeah, there's just something about it. It almost has, like, different flecks. So the pink has, like, the more goldy flecks, and then obviously the blue has, like, the more silvery flecks. It just is so nice when it's all in one kind of small area. Okay, okay, KJH, sorry. So I guess all my disappointments are not disappointing anymore. This is, the, this is a happy video. And then I'm gonna go until 15 minutes. Right now we're at 12. I recently tried this, recently meaning like maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes before this video. I just kind of skimmed my face with this powder. Traceless, you guys. This powder is traceless. And I like it for touch-ups. Like, I, I did this over makeup that I had already done this morning. And it looks so pretty. I think somebody's trying to break into my home. Just kidding, that's not funny. I'm taking the Real Technique setting brush. I'm gonna go over this blemish again. You guys, this powder is traceless and it takes away the shine, adds a little bit more coverage. Um, this is awesome. This powder is traceless, it's gorgeous. Okay, so Makeup Forever. I also used it with the, um, the applicator. I love the applicator. Very smooth application. Love that. What else? Oh, okay. I do have one more disappointment. So I purchased the RMS, the Uncover Up, because I love it. I need a lighter shade, though. I do still love it, but I need a lighter shade. I think maybe because we're not going out in the sun or something. I'm getting really pale. But, I mean, for me. Anyway, um, I got the RMS Beauty... They call this their tinted unpowder. I got two to three. I think they had like one to two, two to three, three to four. Um, as far as darkness goes. But I don't know. I feel like this leaves me very chunky. Like it uh, makes my skin feel very textured. So this, I don't know. It was, it was a bust for me. And this was $34. And this thing is new. Like if I, even if I don't even really like a setting powder, like right now I'm using the Wet n Wild and I don't really like this one. It changes the shade of my foundation. Um, but like even that one I'll choose over this one. This one for some reason just makes me so, like it makes my um, foundation look very thick. So I don't know about that one. That one was kind of a disappointment. I'll play with it more, get you guys updated on that and see if anything changes because I know sometimes if I just like put it in my routine and start to use something, I'll start to love it. 
So hopefully that happens with that. But um, let's see, what else do we have that was new? The cover effects. This is their The Perfect Light Highlighting Powder. I used this as a all-over powder the other day, and I think that was a mistake. Um, but now I'm not really sure how to use this. I mean, it does say highlight, but I almost feel like it's too dark, so I might just have to use it like around the perimeter or maybe on the eyes. Um, anyway, it's this, the shade Sunlight. I just wasn't sure. Plus, it was on sale, and I think most of the shades were out, and that's kind of why I chose this shade, because I was like, well, I think that one might work. Um, just recently tried the Colorful Matte Blushes from Sephora Collection, and I really like. I also like that it has a mirror. Adorable. Okay. You guys, those powder highlights that I said looked so chalky look gorgeous in my inner corner so <laughs> disregard everything I said um another palette that I think everybody should have in their arsenal is this Violet Voss palette I like that it has a brown row and then it also has like a more berry row I need to put this brush down because it's getting in my way But yeah, I just feel like it's such like perfect essential palette if you like warmer tones. Um, because you do, you get like the variation of the browns and then you get the metallic gold. And then here you have like the pinks and the reds and then you have the rose golds and kind of the lighter pinks here. So that one is definite necessity. This is a tie. If you guys can find the Jackie Ina, this palette fire this is like a if this when this ceases to exist in my collection i will be so sad um oh another new thing is the tower 28 lip gloss i got this because of i'm watching her right now i don't know i can't think of her name her name is uh alana davis i think i mentioned her already in this video um i love her so She's kind of like a Katie Jane Hughes for me. I watch her all the time. I really love her, kind of idolize her a little. And anything she likes, I always want to purchase. So I got the Tower 28 lip gloss. I don't really wear lip gloss too often. I've gotten a little bit more into it. I like this formula because it almost like builds up on itself and gives you like bigger lips somehow like it smooths out the lines and it just looks smooth I like it and it's comfortable um, it feels hydrating I was even thinking about using it as like my nighttime but I always use the milk makeup kush lip glaze I just recently purchased a new one of that um yeah I think that's all of this stuff that I've purchased I mean makeup wise anyway I've gone Excuse me, I've gone a little bit insane with. Oh, and I went over on time, so I guess I'm going to 20 minutes. So, <laughs> I also got the Milani Shoop Lip Kit with that Milani did with Salt and Peppa. This is so cute, and the lip is beautiful. I have the lipstick in my purse. And then the lip liner, I have that in my purse too, so obviously I love it. I was like, I have to. And then I have to keep the box because the box is so cute. It says Salt and Peppa. The lipstick actually has the Salt and Peppa logo on it. I love that. It's very 90s, um, like a dark brown lip. Actually, Kathleen Lights just put up a video on it. So if you guys want to go see that, you guys can go watch Kathleen Lights. That's always fun. And then Milani sent me their new highly rated 10 in 1 volume mascara a little sample size so i'm excited to use this um i'm also excited about the packaging it just has a bunch of stars on it like a bunch of gold stars very cute very cute what else do i have you guys oh right now on ren oh we're gonna hit the 20 minute mark anyway 
thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys are doing well while we are in quarantine and staying sane. I know it's very difficult, but you guys can do it. We're all going to come out of it this stronger, more healthy human beings, and I think more conscious of certain things. So, I don't know. I think in a way it's kind of a blessing and a curse, good and bad. Take it how you want. But anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and just kind of going through my makeup with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.